And today marks the start of Black History Month, and one local church is getting a boost and keeping its history alive. Chubb Chapel in Floyd County started more than 150 years ago, and as Joe Ripley reports, it's still standing today thanks to grant funding and the faith shared by family and friends. Along this rural stretch of Floyd County, a creek runs strong and roots run deep. It's a view into history visually. You know, a lot of times we we read about black history, but nothing's there anymore because it was destroyed. Chubb Chapel was built around 1870 as a cornerstone for this community here in Floyd County. It remains the only building left from the old Chubb Town community. A uh, black, free, self-sufficient community during that time. Clemmy Watley shares the story of her ancestors and the church she grew up in, one of two churches in Georgia to receive a $4 million grant from the National Trust for Historic Preservation's African American Cultural Heritage Action Fund. Church staff say the money will go toward making the old new, repairing windows, preventing erosion, installing handicap accessible ramps, cleaning and painting. For you have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste. Reverend Ruby Ford is in her second year as pastor of Chubb Chapel. As a people, we don't really have another history. We don't know our lineage. Uh, most of us don't know where we're from. She says she now walks in the footsteps of generations of giants, people who built a town in the shadow of slavery, Jim Crow, and the civil rights movement. We've lost that connectivity. We're not a village anymore. And so here, at least I found a village again. And what's left of that village, a church still standing, Clemmy Watley says, because of the faith and commitment to those roots that run deep. Faith that our ancestors had in, in God, the faith that they passed down to us. In Chubtown, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.